What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back at the same spot and I'm gonna look for more snowflake eels. Last time I saw three and caught two, but they're too big for my little 20 gallon tank. So we're gonna try to find some small ones. Um, I brought my fishing poles again. Last time I didn't catch anything. So this time hopefully we'll catch an old eel. Um, the tide's higher. So maybe that's better, I don't know, but let's see, let's get into it. winter guys I spotted a snowflake eel this is the one got it I got it yes we got it guys oh jump out. Look at that. It's kind of big actually. It was just in the weeds so I thought it was extra small but it's a good size. Oh it was just really shallow in the in these invasive algae in this gorilla ogle. First one I caught of the day and the smallest one that I've seen in the last two days. So I don't know guys, this might need to be it. It's smaller, but it's still kind of big for a 20 gallon. Oh, scared. 
scared me. I thought it didn't work. Alright. Okay guys, I only caught that little oil, but I did catch a snowflake eel and two green mantis shrimps, so we're going home with something. Alright guys, I just got acclimated for like 20 minutes. Every few, every like 10 minutes I put a cup of tank water in here so the salinities and temperatures become the same so when he goes in he doesn't get all shocked and die so <laughs> hope he's ready um how am i gonna get him in the net so there's the mantis shrimp so that's a green mantis shrimp but right now it's kind of brown because the environment i took it out of was brown so he kind of adapted but he'll get green Under, under him is green. Ooh. There he goes. Okay. Okay, snowflake's kind of big. But. Smallest one I could get. <laughs> Jeez. I think I gotta put more rocks in here. So as you see, he like rocks. So he's trying to go under that rock, but there he is. Yes, he's definitely big for this tank, but it's not that bad. By the way, guys, all these guys are going to be released after Christmas. I might keep some of them, like this eel. There he is, in. He's going and claiming that hole. See, Christmas rats, they're friends. I mean, usually I see them fighting, but they're friends. Look at them. Perfect. They're like both the same size. And Brothers and sisters right there. There he is. How you doing, buddy? Look at that. Guys, I think this tank is complete. There's so much fish in here. I think we reached our max. I have banned shrimp in here because it just molted, as you can see. I don't know, he didn't really dry out well. He lost the coral in the process, but don't worry. Next month, it'll come back. So, our lineup, we got a mamo type of damselfish right there. We got a hole hole, silver one right there. Got a mempachi, the one with a huge eye. Mempachi. And we got two alehis, striped ones right there, and right there. Then we got the green shrimp, just chilling right there. Got the bandit shrimp. Got the mantis shrimp. Got the two Christmas wrasses. They're awesome. And last but not least, we got the snowflake eel. awesome so guys I think this is the final result of the Christmas tank two hardest ones to catch was the Christmas wrasse actually not really that hard honestly hardest ones to catch was bandit shrimp and of course the snowflake eel look at him look at him <laughs> Well, I'm gonna turn off the lights. I'm gonna let him.
let him rest. And I'll see him tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.